Hello. So, you have had the same problem as I. You read the title of the video. I've had the same problem. Server connections and not finding any servers, getting connection lost in servers, in squad. It's so annoying. So, today I'll be showing you different ways you can fix it and what fixed it for me. Because it, it can depend on the problems. Some have to check the integrity of the game on Steam and some have to make another rigid uh, key. So it's different, but today I'm gonna show you what helped for me. First off, you gotta make sure that your graphics drivers are uh, all good to go. Uh, they have to be updated. Second, go into your settings and then look for the Windows update setting and check if it's updated. And the third thing I would do is also go in and check the integrity of the game squad. So what you do is you click manage properties, then you choose local files and press verify integrity of game files. This can help for some systems. If it didn't help, try next step. When you're in squad, go to settings. In the, in the bottom of the settings tab, you can click clear cache. This will reset your settings and restart the game. So you have to make your settings again, but that's how it is. You should try all these things before going to the last step. And that is two more things that I recommend doing before the last step is going to where squad is downloaded, right clicking on squad launcher, pressing uh, properties, compatibility, and then try, run this program as an administrator. And also turning down the graphics on your game so that it's not high or ultra, that it's just medium or something like that. That helps a lot too. Then you gotta go to your task manager, right click on squad, and then press go to. Yeah, from Danish to English, it's uh, go to details. I don't know what it is in English, to be honest, but. It's the last, uh, the second last one in the top. And you gotta find squadgame.exe. You can see here that mine is pri priority is high. That is because I told it to be high, but if you try to to uh, make it high, you can't. It, it will say that you, you can't. Because I think it's squad that did it, that did it this way. So you'll have to go around that and make it high in Regidit. So remember that name. This is also th something you can do in other games. Uh, you have to just get the exact name that is on the task manager. So if you close down squad and task manager, then you if you press the Windows key and search for Re Regidit, it will come up like this. Then you'll need to find the First, the folder called uh, software, this one, software, then Microsoft, then Windows NT, current version, go to image file execution options, and in here, you can see I've created, create, well, created, <laughs> I've created a folder. So you wanna right click on the image file execution options and press new key. This will add this folder and you will <coughs> you'll call it squadgame.exe uh, with uh, big S and big G. And in this you are going to create a new key and call it perf options. I'll make a I'll type them down in the description so you can just copy paste it. But in this perf option, we'll go over here, press new, and then D word 32 bit. And you will call it CPU priority class. Again, I'll have it in the description so you can just copy paste. Then you double click this and type in three. This will make Squad have high priority every time you open the game. So this should have fixed your in-game issues with server connections. Uh, if you get disconnected from games, if you cannot open squad or anything like that. This helped me 
I sometimes disconnect, yes, <clears throat> but it's not as frequently as before. So now I can play for about three hours and disconnect one or two times. Before I could even couldn't even play for two to five minutes. Then I got disconnected or couldn't get into servers or had problems starting up the uh, squad. And one thing to mention is that when you go to servers in squad, the, it can take time before the servers start popping up. So you have to be a bit patient and wait uh, for 30 seconds or something like that uh, for the servers to load in. And then don't take a server that's almost full. Take servers that's 70 out of 90, not 95 out of 96 or 90 out of 96. Because when players are joining at the same time, it can cause a bit of server connections and you can get disconnected also because of that. So try these methods out. I'll type everything down in the description so you can copy paste everything if you need to. And if I found new ways to deal with this problem, I'll make a new video, of course. Good luck.